Exalted Monday Morning Brothers. This is Monday Morning Musings, and I am Timothy Andrew, the host of From the Basement Podcast. Today's topic is going to be on discernment. I will do this in two parts. The first part this week, I will go over why we need discernment and also the benefits of discernment. And next week, I will conclude with the wisdom of discernment. So let us jump into it. A.W. Tozer said, A lack of discernment is the cause of so much of the flabby Christianity that is going about these days. The need for discernment is a topic that is both timely and timeless in this age where information is readily available at our fingertips. The need for discernment is also the ability to discern truth from falsehood, right from wrong, and wisdom from foolishness, and is more crucial than ever. The Bible, in its timeless wisdom, has always emphasized the importance of discernment. 1 Thessalonians 5, 21 and 22 But test everything, hold fast what is good, abstain from every form of evil. Paul urges the Thessalonians to examine everything carefully. It implies that not everything presented to us, whether it is a teaching, doctrine, piece of advice, or even a culture or norm, should be accepted at face value. We are called to scrutinize, question, and to weigh these things in the light of God's Word. This is not a call to skepticism or cynicism, but rather a call to wisdom and discernment. Romans 12, 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Paul here again shows us the need for discernment in the face of worldly pressures and warns against conforming to the patterns of this world, which often run contrary to God's will. Instead, we are to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. This transformation and renewal is a process that requires discernment. It involves discerning what is of the world and what is of God, what is secular and what is eternal, what is superficial and what is truly important. Proverbs 10.13 On the lips of him who has understanding, wisdom is found, but a rod is for the back of him who lacks sense. This verse shows us the contrast between the person who has understanding and the one who lacks judgment. The verse also tells us that wisdom is found on the lips of the one who has understanding. This understanding is not merely intellectual or academic, but it is practical and discerning. It involves making right judgments, wise decisions, and navigating life's complexities with godly wisdom. On the other hand, The one who lacks judgment, who fails to discern, faces the consequences of their folly. Together, these verses paint a picture of the Christian life as one that requires discernment. As followers of Christ, we are called to live wisely, to make right judgments, and to discern truth from falsehood. This is not an optional aspect of our faith, but a necessary one. Charles Spurgeon once said, Discernment is not a matter of simply telling the difference between right and wrong. Rather, it is telling the difference between right and almost right. Now let us look at a few benefits of discernment. One of the benefits is that discernment helps us keep our priorities straight. Look at Matthew 6.22. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Our priorities will be based on the principles and values that either consciously or subconsciously guide our lives. 
I encourage you to take some time this week and read the entire Sermon on the Mount, Matthew 5 through 7. It will provide a spiritual perspective that will realign your priorities and help you discern what's really important in life. Discernment increases our love for God. God wants us to understand how long, how wide, how deep, and how high His love really is. Ephesians 3, 17-19 So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. When we get into the Word and come to understand the nature, personality, and divine attributes of God, we grow to better appreciate Jesus' statement in John 3.16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. 1 John 4.8 Anyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. John shows us here the affirmation that God is truly love. Another benefit of discernment is that it aids us in resisting temptation. The world's view is to do whatever feels good, whatever makes you happy. But look at Proverbs 14.12 There is a way that seems right to a man but his end is the way to death. When we see sin from God's perspective, we see how ugly it is, how it hurts others, and harms us emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and even physically. Then we realize that its short-term pleasure is not worth its long-term consequences. Discernment helps us handle the trials of life. James 1, 2-4 Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness, and let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Life's pressures and problems can actually make us stronger, develop perseverance, and ultimately produce joy. Furthermore, we know we are not alone. God cares, God hears, and God will sustain us. The last benefit of discernment that I'm going to cover is discernment. It protects us from error. John 8:32, And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. It is important to arm ourselves with the truth about life and death, good and evil, right and wrong pleasure and pain, and every other issue in which God's Word will provide. 2 Peter 1, 3-4 His divine power has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of Him who called us to His own glory and excellence, by which He has granted to us His precious and very great promises, so that through them you may become partakers of the divine nature, having escaped from the corruption that is in the world because of sinful desire. Let me conclude with this. Seek the truth through the Word of God so that you may clearly understand when things of this world are not obvious so the truth can ultimately set you free. Let me pray. Father in heaven, help us to stay in your word so we may be able to discern what is truth and what is of this world that is trying to trap us. In your divine and precious holy name I pray. Amen. I encourage you to go to my website from thebasement.org, fill out the comments and feedback section, and if you have ideas that you would like me to look at and possibly do a podcast on, please send them to me. All feedback and comments are kept private. 
Thank you for your listening support. Have a superb and God-filled week.